In June of 2022, my father, a winner of ICFJ's Night Award in 2003, was sentenced to six years in prison without parole. After his conviction, 25 winners of ICFJ's Night Award wrote a letter to my father expressing his sol their solidarity and calling on authorities to release him. They are among tens of thousands around the world who have joined to demand his freedom. On October 14, the appeals court overturned his sentence and ordered a retrial. But he's still in prison. Guatemalan authorities did not imprison my father or silence him or even his newspaper uh, just to silence him. They did it to send a message to all journalists in Guatemala. If you investigate us, you will pay a high price. We cannot let this message win out. We cannot let independent journalism in Guatemala, in Central America, or anywhere else in the world falter. I am very grateful to ICFJ and Knight Foundation for their support. And I ask all of you to add your voices to the, eff the effort to free my father, who has been held hostage by the Guatemalan government for over 460 days using the hashtag Free Zamora and Zamora Libre. Thank you. Less than a month ago, a Russian court upheld Evans' detention on a patently false charge, denying his lawyer's latest appeal to free him since he was arrested during a reporting trip. He faces 20 years in prison for doing nothing else than being a reporter. Evan recently marked his 32nd birthday in jail. The US government has officially designated Evan wrongfully detained, which means that the Secretary of State has determined that he is, in effect, a hostage. Evan is the first American journalist detained in Russia since the Cold War. But he is not the last. Another US journalist, Alsa Kurmasheva of Radio Free Europe, Radio Liberty, was arrested just two weeks ago in Russia. The message is clear. Russia wants the world to think that independent reporting is a crime. We are here to say that journalism is not a crime. <laughs> Securing Evans' release is so important to the Wall Street Journal that I am now working full time on his behalf. The only way we can win is to keep the pressure on and to keep Evans' name in the news. For that, we need your help. Please put out the message, hashtag, I stand with Evan, on whatever platforms you are on. Evan must be brought back to his family and back to the newsroom where he belongs. Thank you, and we greatly appreciate your support.